Hello again, this is Robert Veach here. This is my video review of the Kabatok brand, their model L7C Pro handheld phone gimbal stabilizer for most mobile phones with magnetic AI active tracking, which is this cool little module right here. And we're going to show you how to use that. And it has a foldable design. The product gets excellent customer ratings. So it comes with a little tripod, which I have on the unit right now. Also has a lanyard that you could uh, attach to the bottom of the unit. And it has a USB A to C charging cable to charge the actual units. There's no batteries to worry about it. Now, if you ever use one of these uh, handheld gimbals, they work really amazing. It has instruction manual in English and it has a separate section how to use the AI tracking. What's, what's great about the AI tracking is this little module right here goes on the bottom of the unit and uh, it only allows you to put it one direction and the magnets hold it in place and what that does is this, it gets power and it also has a built-in light on there also which is really nice. So we're going to power this out. I'm going to change the camera angle so you can see what happens with the gyro so you can see the effect it has. Now the whole gyro is in view and uh, I can show you how to operate it. Now there is a power button right there and there is different mode buttons and here is the actual little joystick. So if you hold this down the unit turns on and what it does is it goes into place and you can see it's activated right now because you feel resistance when you touch the actual gyro itself. And that's what gyros do. They offer resistance and stabilize the camera. Now when using a mobile phone on this, I highly recommend that you remove the case. I have a uh, Pixel 6 right here and I have to remove the case for this to work properly. Also lightens the weight of it which makes it work better. Now you notice it, it defaulted in the vertical mode. Let's take this off for now. We're not going to be using that yet. But it defaults in the vertical mode. If you hit that power button again, it goes into the horizontal mode automatically, which is nice. And again, the stabilizer is on. Now there is all kinds of different modes. If you ever used these before, what it's trying to do is it's keeping this steady. So if I turn like that, notice how that thing goes keeps zero degrees to the earth or to the ground and if I go this way rewatch see how it goes back to zero degrees that's what a gyro does or a stabilizer does that's its whole goal to do that for you now what also is really cool is you have this little joystick here so you can see you could just move this and you can get whatever shots you want and then the whole thing goes this way also now there is all kinds of modes on here. It gets a little confusing. The manual does talk about the different modes. There's a mode button. And there is a display on here that lights up. So when you change the modes, it goes and it changes the display right there. And it actually changes the functionality of the tracking. Now you can go over the manual because it's a little confusing. Because there are some modes where the stabilization is different. By default, you're going to use that first default one when you get started. Now there is an app on here that uh, this works with. And I did download that app. It is free. And that app is right here. It's called Gimbal Pro. So here I have the app connected. You have to make sure Bluetooth is on on your phone. And this is a Pixel 6. I'm in the vertical mode, so once again I'm going to show you how I could change the angle using this joystick, which is really nice, and rotating. So when you're filming, it's very smooth. Now if you're uh, shooting something and you don't like the particular angle that it's at, you can just turn this, uh, force it into a new position, which is great, and then it'll stabilize in that new position. Now most cameras balance pretty much, most mobile phones balance pretty much in the center. It, I do have uh, buttons right there so I can't go too much higher, so, but that uh, holds it quite nicely. Now um, not only does the joystick work really well, there's other functions on here also. For instance, I'm running the app right now and there is a button right here. And if I hit that button, 
it will snap and it takes a picture just like that so that's one great feature and then there's another feature right here on the side there is an up and down button and you'll notice it goes and it activates the actual zoom of the lens and that's great because you can't really be touching your phone once you're on a stabilizer like this so it allows you to really gain access to some of the functions of your phone it'll store these videos on there it allow you to gain access to it there's a lot of features on here that I'm not going to show but it's got a pretty extensive feature list here I want to demonstrate the AI tracking it kind of was automatically enabled so this device right here is tracking as I move my head I'm moving my head left to right, right to left, and even up and down. It's actually tracking and following my head off camera, which is pretty amazing. So that's great if you're photographing somebody that's moving and you want to capture them and then moving around and it's doing it automatically. Just kind of like how a drone would do it. The gyro also supports what they're calling under slung mode. So if you want to have it down like that, you want to get a lower shot. The gyro does work fine. You can see I'm moving it and it's stabilizing the image.